See, one of the truths of life is that success is replicable. Success can simply be copied and pasted, and you will arrive at success. From time immemorial, the principles of success have not changed. That is just the plain truth. In fact, this is what I have found. The things that make for success are so much in plain sight that we can wonder why millions of people are not successful. The reason may not be far-fetched. We humans naturally love convoluted and complicated things that, when things are simple, we tend to not take them seriously. Take for example, one of the popular principles of success is that if you do what other successful people have done, you will likely get the result they have gotten. But we don't often want to go this route. Most are want to reinvent the wheel. Others simply prefer to struggle and hustle and grind because they believe this is the only way to success. Also, habits get in the way of us succeeding. Although the principles of success may be timeless and simple, man is so inhibited by certain habits that hold him back from ever succeeding. These habits are numerous. However, in this video, I will be sharing with you three habits that are almost certain to hold a young person from succeeding. Subscribe to this channel if you're new here so you don't miss other videos like this. 1. Inconsistency Anthony Robbins wrote a quote on this. It is not doing it occasionally that gets the job done. It is doing it consistently. One of the popular stories used to support this point is a story of one of America's most successful comedian, Jerry Seinfeld. When he wanted to become a comedian, Jerry Seinfeld got a 365-day calendar and decided to create a chain he would not break. Each day in that year, he made sure he wrote a joke. It didn't matter if the joke was good for the day. He was not focused on getting rich or becoming famous at this time. He was just concerned about never breaking the chain. He wrote like this for 365 days straight. And by then, he had become so good at writing jokes, he could only become a successful comedian. Consistency is key. I remember reading a quote once that drove this point home for me. What you do occasionally, you soon forget. What you do consistently becomes a part of you. That is very true. Much of life's success are basically people who have learned to do one thing consistently without fail until they got so good at it they couldn't become anything less than a success. Do one thing consistently that you love to do. Do it whether the going is good or not. In fact, I always advise that we copy Mr. Jerry Seinfeld's strategy of getting a 365-day calendar, marking each day off on the calendar that you practice and determining to never break the chain. 2. Lack of Integrity Warren Buffett rightly said, look for three things in a person, intelligence, energy, and integrity. If they don't have the last one, don't even bother with the first two. And Oprah Winfrey had this to say, integrity is staying the same no matter the condition. Simple. It is doing what you have promised to do, no matter how troublesome it is for you to keep your word. One of the businesses noted for such integrity, which has resulted in its consistent success, is Apple Inc. Each year, most funds of Apple, which number in billions, queue up to actually be the first to buy a newly invented Apple product. The reason is simple. Over the years, the company has maintained its reputation for making excellent products that are distinguished from the others in the same industry. You can't compare Apple products to others in the same industry. As a result, people naturally trust Apple to deliver on its excellence and aesthetics. Such is the power of integrity. This attitude may not be common anymore but it is one thing that will keep pushing you up the ladder of success. The reason why it isn't common is that it is easier to patch things up than it is to maintain your stand for what's right. It is easier to cheat people because you want to make good money than it is to give your best to a job because you just want to keep your promise to deliver excellence. Integrity for you as a young person may start with giving your best to everything you do, making sure it is excellent such that people don't even have to question it. It may require you to hang in there for a longer time, do it. Somebody said, don't stop because you're tired, stop because you're done. 3. Not going the extra mile Closely related to integrity is a refusal to go the extra mile. The Bible says something about this, that whatever your hand finds to do, do it with all your might because a man's gift will make room for him. I used to say that once. Michael Dell, owner of Dell Computers, said during an interview that he would travel the world to find the man who is the best at what he does because for such a man, you will hardly need to supervise him. Steve Jobs once said something along the line of, If I have to think for you, why did I hire you? We hire smart people so they can do the thinking for us. The world celebrates excellence. It may be difficult to do the extra, but going the extra mile in your job or your business will always pay off. I think it was Albert Hubbard who said, If you only do what you're paid for, you will only get what you're paid for. If all you do is all you're paid to do, you will never earn beyond what you're paid to do. Just going the extra mile has earned some people promotions at their place of work. 
I know the story of a man who started as just a servant boy in a media company and because he had a habit of going the extra mile for others and the company, he was soon promoted to the place of a producer in that same company with almost no skill but just the habit of doing the extra. Do a little extra, do more than you would normally do, like it or not, it will pay off in the end. If this video inspired you, like the video. We love you.